my folks. Holiday over. Back on the hunt. After the carp. A very pleasant week and a half away with the kids. This is my last trip. The weather was, well, fantastic to be perfectly honest with you. Couldn't believe our luck. It was absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Had a nice cottage in Wales. Highly recommended. Lovely, quiet, pleasant beaches. No one there. Hidden secret of this uh, country. Anyway, where better to start than more or less than where you finished? Forgetting my little trip on the other lake. I've basically got the rest of September on here. This being the 4th of September. It wasn't long to go. So every session now. It's going to have to be on here, unless it's uh, so full you can't move. So, no better place to start than where you were catching before. Size was obviously a problem. Had a friend of mine fish over there on the island at the weekend. Had a few fish. It's 20 pounds, so sizes are getting a bit bigger. Hopefully. This is what we'll see out here. We'll give it a couple of goes in this area. And if not, we'll have to uh, start digging around and hunting around another area to go. See how we get on. So, the fish were here when I left. It's only a week and a half ago. He clearly saw some at the weekend. There's a good enough place to start all over again. And move on from there. Anyway, I'm going to get the kettle on and have a brew. Sort myself out. See what I can catch through the night. Unfortunately, the kids are now back at school, so yeah, early start, late arrivals again. I can't believe it. I want to drove up here. I had my lights on in my car. Awesome, certainly uh, rolling in. But there you go. We love it. Good time of year. See what it brings. All right, catch up with you soon. I'll update you later now. Bye bye. Not a bad start, eh? That'll do me. Been away for a little bit. Big old tails these things have. Huge flippers. There we go. That, that looks alright. Right, morning. Morning, folks. As you can see, the rods are in. So everything's uh, on the barra, ready to go. Had a couple of fish in the night. One I weighed is about 16. The other one was possibly a little bit bigger, so it might have been a scrape of 17. And uh, that was it. The fish were uh, literally, well, I'd just say everywhere really. Everywhere in this area you could see, but nowhere in particular. It was a bit of a weird one. I sort of got up a couple of times in the night. The skies were quite uh, clear for a period. And you wouldn't get them crashing in the same place, which is not very helpful to say the least. But they certainly are in this area, so that's what I'm quite happy about. I'm either going to head over onto that island when I come back again or I might head over onto the point of that island just there. I don't know yet, I'm going to put a little bit of thought into it. I think a friend of mine's fishing between now and I can get back again so I'll see what he comes up with and I'll take it from there. But that's not too bad. A couple of fish, quite happy about that on my return. So there we go. Anyway, thank you for watching catch up soon don't forget to subscribe comment and uh, hope you enjoyed it bye bye now
Well, hi guys. We're back out on uh, Meadow Lake. Um, well, I only drove in to have a look like I did the last time. Funny enough, same day angler and me and anyone's on here apparently. And, um, well, what more could I do really? Stop, get out, put the bait on the two spots, spawn a lot of boilies out there and um, give it another go see what happens well the rods are out all spawned out kits in a bit of a heap on the floor but I'll get that sorted out in a little bit but yeah we're out we're fishing absolutely fantastic and uh, we'll see how we get on catch up with you later folks bye bye now Absolutely perfect. First go, Smoky Jack Boilies. New bait coming out next year by Spotted Fin. Absolutely unbelievable. What more can I say? Lumpy, lumpy. <sighs> Happy day. Gorgeous. Get that baby back. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Slip you back. Well folks, that was the uh, only fish of the night, so I'm not going to complain about that, any fish will do, one of that size, never going to complain about, absolutely superb, very misty and fresh and cold pack up this morning, but, uh, it's unbelievable, make the effects of the mist look even better just by breathing, look. Yeah, see my breath came past the screen. It's, uh, yeah, new time for uh, gloves time, I feel. Uh, packing up this time of the morning. My gloves are a little bit, uh, well, my hands are a little bit uh, tingly. I feel the need of gloves. So, camp is all uh, down and gone. Rods are there, and the mist going past. Swing's empty. So, that is basically it. Very happy, very, very good night. Pretty good test on the uh, Smoky Jack. So what more can I say? Roll on the next trip. Catch up soon, folks. Thank you for watching. Good luck if you're out fishing. And uh, see you all soon. Well, hi guys. It's the uh, morning after the uh, first night that I've done. I got down way too late last night to do any videoing, unfortunately. Managed to get back in my uh, favourite swim, which was, well, complete and certain other surprise. Um, clipped up, spawned a few kilos of bait out on the spots, flicked the baits out, and so far the only thing I've had is bream. There's definitely carp in the area, so I can hear them crashing and see them. There's been a couple crash in that corner over there this morning I hear you say why aren't you putting a bait over there no, last year I tried it a few times and I've done it well in the previous years but all the fish kite immediately left extremely fast and run into a snag just there if they don't run into a snag just there they end up going around the corner of the island which isn't what you're looking at at the moment about 30 foot to the left of me I think I lost three fish in a row, and ever since then it's completely utterly put me off fishing that spot. Any area I might consider, depending on how we go, 
is one across there, just slightly to the left of the willow tree. But uh, I've got no reason to uh, believe that where I'm fishing at the moment won't produce many fish. Um, had a bit of rain in the night, clear skies, temperatures dropped a little bit. It's the first full weekend that um, the other lake is closed. So as I've never really been here at the weekend, I don't really know how busy it is. And at the moment, there's, as far as I'm aware, there's one, two, five people fishing it at the moment, which is generally four more than I normally do. So I don't know if that's got any effect. Uh, we'll just have to see. I have made up a load of um, sloppy ground bait with krill and bloodworm in it pellets and some CSL which I'm going to spot over the air at about midday today to try and get a nice cloud in the air, cloud in the area, get the fish attracting. These fish do feed here, here through the mornings, uh, early late afternoon you can catch them so that is the only other thing. I hear you say that's also a great attractor for the bream, I must admit it is but uh, I've got to try and get the carp in to bully the bream off and work through it at the moment. I've had periods like this before on here, but uh, I'm forever hopeful. The you know, rain's just starting to uh, come down again. Yeah, put the kettle on. There we go. We'll set for a nice brew. Should be very nice. And uh, yeah, I've just recast the rods perfectly on the spot this time. Obviously, it wasn't dark when I chucked them out. I'm feeling a lot happy about that now. And we'll see how today progresses and um, through till tomorrow. Anyway, I shall catch up with you soon later on. And um, good luck if you're out there. Not big. Not big, but gorgeous. Look at the colours. Absolutely. I absolutely love using back nets in this swim because I'm fishing both rods to the right of me in this little spot. And nine times out of ten, the carp kite right and try and go under the tree. So at least by having the back leads, you can actually drop the uh, drop it right in front of the swim, get the fish under the tree without dragging in your other line, and uh, doesn't cause you any problems. But uh, there you go. Anyway, as you can see, the, uh, the weather's playing uh, a little bit again, which is not too bad. Just had myself a nice little uh, 15 pounder. Not going to complain at that. So, 
Yeah, it's a start, it's not a blank. Hopefully we'll uh, produce a few more fish over the session. Oops, sorry, I'm moving the camera and it went a bit wrong. <laughs> Don't we love that? Anyway, it's uh, not doing too badly the weather at the moment. So I'm going to sort the angle out on this, then there we go, look. Get your horizons level. <laughs> there we go. Horizons are a bit level and things are a little bit better. It's all good. Pan around. And, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Not going to complain at that. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll see a few more. Love the orphan colours on there, it's absolutely gorgeous. Stone fish, aren't they? That's nearly stone. Well folks, you can hear the robin that I can't find in the tree at the moment. Tell winter's well and truly out of the way, so they start chirping. Well, everything's down, all but the rods and the bivvy. I'm trying to dry the bivvy out. Wrapping it down with a cloth in the last sort of few minutes. Just uh, listen to me robin chirping away. Not been a bad weekend. A couple of fish. Lost one in the night. It's just slightly frustrating, but it happens. I feel it was a sort of bigger fish that lost. You just never know, do you? They all feel big, and suddenly they turn small, or they all feel small, or suddenly they turn big. I just don't know. I just don't know at all. But it was one of those sort of lumps that move out to the water, so... Mm. Put that to the back of the mind and move on to the next session. It came at the normal feeding time, which was quite good and very happy about. It's what I like. Continuity in your takes from the spots. So I know where, uh, you know, I need to fish and I need to be when I come here. Maybe next time. I need to actually move on to another area soon. I can't... Uh, I can't live in this area all winter because there's just going to clearly be other people here. So I need to find another productive, productive spot to actually uh, fish in, really. Get a couple of little areas going where they might produce fish and things. Just to see how we get on, really. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, pop over to my website. Give me, leave me a comment and uh, good luck if you're out fishing and uh, we'll catch up with you soon as it's, uh, it's starting to rain again and uh, it's a shame the bivvy's nearly dry uh, that's carp fishing for you isn't it it's all good fun anyway see you later now folks bye now there we go I think I've had more of a find of it on the bank I'm trying to get some photographs done and video done I have actually uh, had the fish in the water. But there you go. Another one for the Smoky Jack. Out next year by Spotted Fin. I've got 20 to finish the session off. Rods are on the floor. So we've packed away. So, last knocking is always worth a go in it. And there you go. Let's get this little baby back. And uh, we'll be good. There you go.